So this here is the business. This must mean open air. Wow, that looks nicer. To be honest. Oh, wrong doorknob. All right, so business class is not the move, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the move. Alana Beach. How many persons? Two. If you like to do transfer, going there for cars together is 800. Okay, let's do it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Cebu City. Now today, unfortunately, we're leaving Cebu City, but we will be back in a few days. However, we're heading to Bohol and we're actually heading there on a ferry. So I decided why not tune on in and give you guys all the information you need to know about heading to Bohol from Cebu City and also, of course, share this experience with you guys. Now, right now we're crammed in a taxi because I actually bought a brand new suitcase yesterday because our flights um, to Thailand and then back to the US after Thailand only allow us two 20 kilo bags and to make them a 30 kilo bag it's ridiculously expensive so I just ended up buying a new suitcase uh, Gladys is with me today of course hello are you Hi. excited to go see the beaches of the Philippines I am so excited to, for, uh, to see the beaches maybe the chocolate hills maybe some diving I don't know but I'm excited if we don't do any of that I'm excited to want to explore Boho <laughs> She's just excited to be here in the Philippines and so am I. Now right now we're approaching the ferry terminal. We booked this taxi, well we just actually waved it down right outside of the mall and yeah it was all quite easy to get here. Everything's super easy in the Philippines and I love that everywhere you go you never have any problems. Um, people, the taxi drivers especially, are always just super nice and quick to use uh, the meter. Can you hold this for a second? Oh, yes. I think I have Oh, that. I have it actually. Okay. Here you go. There you go, sir. Thank you. No change. It's okay. Thank you. You want us to get off here? Yeah. Okay. Bohol. Bohol. Yes. Ocean Jet. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Well, let's get our bags out and we'll be good to go. Thank you, sir. We already have our ticket. Thank you. All right, so there we go. And then this is my new luggage that cost me $200 here in the Philippines, literally 200 bucks for this bag. Unbelievable. Thank you, sir. Salamat. All right, well, we're here. This here is Pier 1 of Cebu City. This is the passenger terminal. This is actually where you take ferries to Bohol and other surrounding islands. Now, you can actually purchase your tickets here at these ticket counters. Actually, you know what? Let's come up this way. You can purchase your tickets here at the ticket counters, but we actually purchased ours last night on a website called one to go which I actually leave a link for you down below. And of course, not sponsored at all, but if you do use the link, I do get a small little kickback percentage and you also get a discount. So why not use it? If you're here in uh, Philippines or traveling anywhere in Asia, use that link. It'll help you out a lot. But yeah, all of the ferries can be found here. They got the light ferries. The Coca Ling shipping lines ticketing booth, not sure what that is. And then this here is the Ocean Jet line, which is actually where we're heading to for Boho. Oh, sorry. So we got to wait in line now, but I was actually here yesterday because I had problems. Um, well, I didn't uh, want to risk missing the ferry this morning and my credit card kept getting denied for some reason when I was booking online but it was because I had to use a VPN so I downloaded a VPN used the VPN and now we're good to go we're on our way there I'm okay thank you I'm okay thank you yeah they're trying to sell you tours here in the line but we actually have everything booked for the next few days but yeah this here is the ticketing office for ocean jet so you can come here book your business class tourist class or whatever ferry you want to choose. Ours was actually 800 uh, Filipino pesos for the journey to Boha. Not bad. Hello. I have an online booking ocean jet for a tourist class, I believe. What's the? I got a question. What's the difference between um, business class and tourist class? Can I upgrade? Okay, I would like to upgrade then to business class. Thank you. Yes. 
Cool, so yeah, they offer three different classes. They got a regular class, a tourist class, and a business class. The tourist class is 800, then the open air, which is the regular class, is also 800, and then business class is 1200. I'm actually upgrading to business class because she said you get reclining seats and less people in the cabin, so why not? It's an extra 400 pesos, let's spoil ourselves. I think it's like eight bucks extra, so it's costing us roughly $27 per person to make it across all the way to Bojo. Not too bad. And look, they even got senior and student discounts, and you can actually take it. We're going Cebu to Tag Bilaran, which is the big city over on Bohol Island, but they also got Cebu to Getafe, Ormoc, uh, Palompan, and Sebtagdum. Now, um, you don't have to book your tickets in advance. You can actually book them here in person. However, during the peak seasons, you definitely want to make sure to book them in advance because you don't want to be stuck without um, without space on a ferry. But they do have ferries leaving like multiple times throughout the day. Pretty much from 6 in the morning until 9 at night, you can get on a ferry. Thank you. Our new tickets, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And where do we wait? Inside Terminal 1, sir. Okay, thank you. Guess what I did? You upgrade. I upgraded it. <laughs> so now we got business class. Let's see what that's all about. And it was only 400 more, so around seven seven dollars. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Not too bad, right? All right. Well, you know what? I think we're actually gonna. I think we should cross the street, grab some drinks from 7-Eleven, and then make our way back here and board the ferry. So you know what? I'll see you guys inside the terminal. Here's the passenger terminal right here. Passenger terminal one. Um, this is the main gate. They got a Coast Guard office, all kinds of local food shops, 7-Eleven over in that corner. And yeah, the taxis pull up right here. So super easy process, man. Traveling around the Philippines has been incredibly easy so far. And like I said, pretty much everything you can book online. However, even with an online renter reservation, you gotta make sure you're here super early to um, actually show your confirmation here and get the actual tickets in hand. All right, guys, well, I got me some snacks from the 7-Eleven, got my luggage here. Gladys should be making her way through right now. There she is. She's actually making a video as well, so that's why we've been split apart. But this here is the ferry entrance now. Um, I do want to let you guys know, man, everything's going incredibly smooth. I'm quite surprised that the Philippines is so organized. But, I mean, this is one of the most touristic uh, countries in the world. So they make everything super easy for tourists. Now, this here is the main entrance. I believe we got to go through a security checkpoint. And the tickets actually don't include the bags. The bags cost 100 pesos each, I was just told. So um, just something to keep in mind. Make sure you bring some cash with you. Especially because once you get off at the ferry port in Bohol, you're probably going to be getting a taxi as well. So having cash is very, very important. All right. Let's jump on this ship. And hopefully we get there in those two hours. Hello. Okay, I'm impressed guys. This place is kind of like an airport. So we're inside of the terminal now and there's air conditioning, all kinds of places to grab snacks, food, ATM machines in case you don't got cash. But do keep in mind that you actually have to pay a 25 peso uh, terminal fee once you make it inside of the main terminal. And you do go through a security checkpoint. There's also dogs, so don't be trying to enter the ferry with anything that you're not supposed to be carrying because there are dogs they do got a rough security and you don't want to get caught doing anything dumb but yeah here's the ocean jet baggage counter the check-in counter and this here is where everybody's sitting down and waiting for the ferry but yeah atms water bottle stations potato stands souvenir shops a cafe up there <laughs> this is awesome huh it's like an airport terminal like an airport terminal now i'm actually really looking forward to the ferry uh, I was hoping it wasn't like one of those rough ones that they have in Thailand when you go over to Gotel. The ferries are never that nice. But no, this here, this is class. I like it. So we had to pay 100 for each bag and now we're on the ferry. We barely made it too, guys. It's literally 11.40 right now, but um, we're on board now. Now it's time to find the right area. So this here is the four open air class passengers only. Hello. Where's business? Business is also upstairs. Upstairs. Sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. So we're up here. Wow, these seats don't look too bad at all. So this here is the business. This must mean open air. Wow, that looks nicer. To be honest, 
Oh, wrong doorknob. Thank you. Um, seat number six, six and, and, and four. Six and four. Oh, okay. Six. So this here is six. This here is mine, and there's Gladys's. Oh, to be honest, it looks better outside. Can we sit outside? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's just sit outside. So, we spent 400 for nothing. We spent another 400 for absolutely nothing. You like better in here, right? Yeah, it's way too squished inside there. That's All right, let's come back here. All right, so business class is not the move, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the move. Well, we just donated 800 pesos to the ferry company because that was absolutely terrible. Man, there's no way in hell I was gonna sit in there. You seen that? It's full. It's full. The lady downstairs told me that the business class meant less people and that you're gonna have more room, but the it looks like the bottom class has more room and this one's full of tourists. Every seat is taken, so I think everybody has like the same thought process, like oh I'll pay a little bit more and be a business class. But no, now we're in open air. Why not? Why not? Now we know the first ferry experience, so the rest of the trip will be open air seats. And Should be fun. Oh yeah, we're right at the restroom. Why not? Hey, in the breeze is nice. Sometimes air conditioning gets me sick. I don't know if you guys are the same way. Let me know down in the comments, but it should be an incredible uh, journey. What did you think about the whole process so far? Oh my God, I love the terminal. It's like an airport. I think the only problem we can can possibly have is the sun. The like sun. The sun hit yeah. us, you know, but. Beside of that, that, that didn't even happen yet, so uh, beside of that, everything is went so smooth, the people uh, work very fast, and well, let's see how the ride is. And like I said, it's just our, our fault for spending that extra money, yeah. but no, I was, my seat was number six, there was like some big dude sitting there, like, obviously, I wouldn't be comfortable, so I'd rather just sit out here, but hey, no complaining, we're going to bowl, what? baby, hey, and I it was only like a... $15 mistake, it's all good. Yeah, and it's you know good. what? I don't know why, while I get older, sometimes in these spaces, I feel like I need, I get claustrophobic and I need space, you know? Exactly. Like, I don't know, so here I think we will be okay. Yeah, it was only a $15 uh, mistake, but like I said, it's a learning process and we got a lot more ferries to take here in uh, the Philippines, so we're gonna be good. Exactly. Now we just know, we like open air class. Bye bye Cebu City, it's been a good time man, I'm gonna miss this place, but we'll be back very very soon. So yeah, this here is the port, our hotel that we stayed at is actually directly in front of us, that building up there that's popping up, the Summit, Summit Galleria, what a place. You can actually see the mountain range on the back, and right now we're about to go under one of the most like modern brid brid bridges that's called the Cebu Cordova Bridge, which is also pretty incredible, but man, this city is gonna be missed and man we're already going at some top speeds what a beautiful place yeah i personally think i'm gonna like this area a lot better and yeah look this here is the cebu cordova bridge that takes you over towards like the smc side of mall man what a what an impressive city a lot of people stay, say stay away from cebu city and go straight to the beaches but i think you should definitely a lot some time for Cedar City. This place is impressive. It's so rich in history and it has a lot to offer. They also got some pretty important landmarks such as the Basilica de Santo Niño, which is impressive. And of course, the Catedral de Cebu. Catedral de Cebu. I haven't spoken Spanish in a while. We need to start speaking more Spanish. Cathedral. The Cathedral of Cebu, yeah. Super, super impressive sights. But yeah, look at this bridge, you guys. It is awesome. There's a big cross on the, um, what do you call those? On the pillars of the bridge. Another little ferry coming this way. Beautiful place. All right, well, right now it is 11.50. Let's see exactly how long it takes us to get to Boho. I wonder if those people can see me over there. Oh uh, yeah, I got a wave, I got a wave. They saw me. All right, guys. See you in. See you in Boho. All right. So 
the business class was out the open air was cool but look at this the regular tourist class is awesome and they even sell snacks back here what this was the way to go all right so open air and tourist class definitely the best options when on the ferry all right let's make the line to get on out but everybody has the face like they're disappointed i mean no one was expecting the rain oh sorry no one was expecting the rain but it's not even like a small shower it's a it's a heavy shower all right it's gonna be a nice rest day all right so getting off the ferry was super easy bags came off completely dry i love how they take care of all the customers belongings definitely recommend that now right now we're about to look for a taxi there's all kinds of people with like signs that say car for hire we're heading to a place called Panglao, which is like um, the sister island of Bolt. It's not far, only about a 35 minute drive. And yeah, hopefully we can get there for quite an affordable deal. So let's look. Let's see how much a... You're going to take the small one? Okay. Let's take this one. Hello. How much to go to uh, Yellow Mango Hotel, Alana Beach? How many persons? Two. If you like to do transfer, going there for car together is 800 okay let's do it 800 yes sir not bad I'll all right let's do that I'll go for the driver, sir. okay so you take people anywhere they need to go on boho yes sir oh amazing that's great service welcome to boho anyway sir thank you so much we're excited to be here even though it's raining it's yeah. all right <laughs> Let's just hope it don't stay like this the whole week. I hope so. I was, I was planning some nice beach days, man. All right. Let's make our way through here. 800 pesos. Not bad. Around 18 US dollars to get all the way to our hotel, which is about 40 minutes away. 45 minutes away. Now, I'm not sure if that's a negotiable rate, but I'm not in the mood to negotiate in this rain. We're jumping in that. Usually I'm not the type of person to get that takes the first offer that I was given, but um, today we are. I'm going with them. Thank you. Gladys looks so excited for the rain. Have you not seen the rain in a while? Well, <laughs> it's raining in the Philippines. In my, it's all right. In my mind, I was going to the beach today. <laughs> we can still go. All right. Here we go. Ooh. It's raining. It is, it is. Okay. It's raining bad. No, I think we are. No, no, yeah. Park here. Yeah, this one. You can visit. Uh, yeah, we, but we'd rather wait because it's raining right now. Yeah, if it's yeah. raining tomorrow, we don't want to do a tour. Uh -huh. How many days do you stay here? A week. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, is this your number? Yes, sir. Oh, let me take a picture of that yeah. then. And then um, if we change our mind, I'll let you know. Yes, sir. What is your name? Nini. Jordan Lean. My name is uh, Jordaline, but driver knows me Nining. This is my nickname. Nining. Okay, Nining. Nining. This is a snake massage? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you can um, look here. Okay. Yeah. Are you trying to do a snake massage? <laughs> She's crazy. This girl something else, man. She saw a snake massage happening on the Philippines on YouTube, and she was like being sold to do that while she's here. Have you found the snake massage? No, it's supposed to be at Cebu Zoo, but that Cebu Zoo is closed. It shut down. Yeah, let me show you guys. It it's pretty crazy, but she found that on the internet, and ever since we got here, she was like, I'm going to go and get a snake massage. I'm trying to, to find it, but... That's what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> Never in my life would I do that, would but I'll leave it up to you. This? No, no way. What about Not a chance. Or? Yeah, would you guys do it? Let me know down in the comments. Are you guys a fan of the snake massage? I definitely am not. Oh, Ning Ning bought the umbrella. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a tour with Ning Ning later on this week, but for right now, it doesn't look too promising out there. Ning Ning, you do that tour? Yes, I do that tour, guys. Yes. Um, Okay. If we go, we'll ask for hair. So I think this is our sweet ride right here, right? Awesome. I think we should put the big ones first. Oh, Nining is gonna take it. She told us to wait right here. Look, there's the driver. He's gonna handle that. Let's put the other big one in there. 
I know, usually you guys don't see Gladys with the camera in her hand and me, but um, we got to do both these videos today. Salamat. Oh, be careful, they almost got hit with the van. Look, Nining's a sweetheart. She's covering him with the umbrella too. Aww, she's so nice. I want to tour with her. I want to tour with Nining too. She's awesome. I think 800 baht or 800 baht, 800 pesos is a good deal. Oh man, look, this is service. They're bringing this one in here. Thank you. I got you. Oh, do you? Yeah. You got enough for a tip? Oh, okay. Well, Gladys is gonna give her a little tip too. Thank you. Thank you, Nining. Oh, take her first. Oh man, customer service <laughs> at its finest. Thank you, Nining. Thank you. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Here, because here Nining. Here. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. We'll keep in touch for the tour. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh man, thank you for the rescue. <laughs> yeah. Has it been raining every day? Only today, sir. Has it been raining every day or just today? Just today, sir. Oh, hopefully tomorrow no rain. Yeah. All right. Well, it's okay. Uh, what the hotel, sir? Yellow Mango. Yellow Mango. You know it? Where you find there, sir? The hotel. Uh, Yellow Mango. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we made it. I guess um, there's not a whole lot to talk about right now, guys. <laughs> weather's rough. Um, spirits are high, <laughs> but weather's rough. Maybe this. Maybe this is exactly what we needed to just relax for one day. Yeah. We'll lock ourselves up. Um, edit some videos. Or no, maybe we go and film the only thing in McDonald's. Yeah, maybe we'll go do that. But <laughs> yeah. I'll but the on. move, the the mood is to is to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> this is a sleeping vibe. But yeah, guys. Um, camera's coming off now. Uh, reach back with you guys when we make it to the hotel. How many minutes to Alona Beach? Maybe 35 minutes. Sir. Oh, 35. Oh, not bad. All right. So. See you guys in 35 minutes. Crazy crazy, about halfway through our drive now and the weather has completely cleared up. There's blue skies, it's sunny. It doesn't even look like it was raining over here on this side of the island. And like I mentioned, we're only about 15 minutes into the drive. But look at how beautiful everything looks outside. Palm trees, straight village vibes. Love it. Definitely looking forward to our week here especially if it stays like this if it stays like this, this is gonna be perfect we're looking up right now on google there's so many things to do activities they got the chocolate hills they got a jungle river cruise um, so many incredible beaches sandbars what else did you find you just found a shrine that looks awesome a public yeah, market falls. what was that falls oh Water waterfalls falls. man all kinds of cool stuff and i'm noticing that there's also all kinds of little restaurants I've noticed many gas stations. I also saw a sign for a McDonald's. So who knows? Um, there's gonna be a lot to do here. A lot to see. And maybe we'll knock out that McDonald's video all over here because I know you guys love seeing those. And here in the Philippines, the McDonald's menu is crazy, guys. Not a bad little drive, and we have made it to Yellow Mango Resort. Now, this spot looks super good on the reviews. Let's see if it actually looks that way in person. Oh, that's a nice little pool. Nice little bar area. Oh, this isn't bad. Gladys is getting changed right now. Hello. All right, guys, we just made it to the room and man, this place ain't bad at all for $40 a night. So we got a king size bed, beautiful balcony that overlooks the swimming pool. Swimming pool looks awesome as well. And it smells very clean in here. We got a big TV, refrigerator, Places to store stuff, um, safe over in this direction, a mini closet, a nice big mirror. Oh man, my hair's a mess. I need a haircut. But good thing I just found a barber shop. And there's also a bathroom. Gladys is over here taking pictures of her reviews because for her reviews because she's an addict and she can't stop taking Google reviews. But neither can I. Aw, look who's talking. <laughs> neither can I. We also got air conditioning, a fan. Oh man, this is nice. And you know what? They said they only have one more night available, so we need to make up our mind. If we're gonna end up staying here, you know what? Give it a little bed test, because Gladys is the picky one. Oh! 
Me? <laughs> really? What about I'll you? be honest with you guys. I'm the one that complains about beds. I'm the type to, I'll check into a place and if the bed is terrible, I'm I'll leave. I'll tell you something. It is not Robinson Galleria bed, but it is not Cosa Moon bed. No, the one in Krabby you're talking Krabby, about. I mean. That one felt like a piece of this wood. This one is like in the middle. It's okay. I give this bed uh, seven of ten. <laughs> seven it's out good. of ten. All right, yeah. that's good. It passes then. All right, well, we're gonna get all cozied up. And guys, this here, or this was the ferry journey all the way to Alona Beach on Paglao. Paglao, right? Paglao. Paglao. Yeah, take off those shoes. Yeah, you take off the tools. Yeah, we, we Mr. Cortino. Yeah, we've started a new thing. Every time we get into a room, we always take off our shoes, and I think, I think we're, I think that uh, got stuck with us off of Thailand. Yeah, that Thailand rule, I love it. Well, we love it because it gets kind of gross. I mean, coming into your home with your dirty shoes. All right, how do you open this? Oh, like this. Hopefully, there's no mosquitoes. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I approve of this, guys. All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna get my swim shorts on. I would show you guys the beach and the town, but I think I'm gonna save that for another day. Should I save the beach for another day? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe yes, because the beach, it's on video. All right, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna film the beach and our first reaction to our first Filipino beach ever um tomorrow or maybe later on today who knows but they also have a free shuttle here at this hotel as well that leaves every hour to alona beach and every hour coming back to here so we really got nothing to worry about i guess tomorrow let's have a straight beach day tomorrow and then we go and explore Boho. are you excited to be here or what oh yes i am look the one has a little message before the reward there must be labor you plant before you harvest you sow in tears before you reap joy. What is sow in tears? I have no idea what that means. Look at this girl. You can take the girl out of Venezuela, but you can't take oh. the Venezuela out the girl. What are you trying to say? When a song like to dance? Yes, yes exactly. Like to dance. <laughs> She's I'm just so funny. to come back to Tokyo to the dance dance revolution. <laughs> <laughs> This girl's too much, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little travel day. Let me know if you're planning on coming to the Philippines, if this video helps you out at all. And please, um, stay tuned for the rest of our Philippines series. It's going to be lit. All right. Say bye to the people. Bye-bye, people. See you later, alligators. <laughs> later, guys. We're out walking the streets now, and I decided why not show you guys a little bit more. Now, here on the streets, I'm okay right now. Thank you, bro. Now, here on the streets, Man, there's actually so much going on. There's so many different local restaurants as well as uh, food from other countries. We just passed by an Italian restaurant, an Indian restaurant. They got burgers. And of course, they also have some fast food chains like Jollibee and McDonald's here on the main streets. Now, we're also noticing that there are motorcycle rental places everywhere. I'm okay right now, thank you. We also noticed that there are motorcycle rental places everywhere as well. And they charge between 300 to 350 pesos per day uh, for a motorbike rental. So I think we're actually gonna do that. You ready for a scooter trip around Boho? Of course. I think scooter's I'm the best way. I'm scooter since Phuket. Yeah, scooter vibes are always a good move. You just gotta be very careful because people always get these things that they call Asian scars and it's because they just, yeah, people eat it on the scooters and then they're uh, walking around with bandages everywhere. They hit the el tubo de escape con la pierna. Yeah, or or you did that mistake. last year. Um, Gladys barely tapped the um, the exhaust pipe and it burned the shit out of her leg. Yeah, but that yeah. happens a lot too. However, yeah, guys, I mean, so many different uh, options for food, rentals, all kinds of things, massage spots, souvenir places, tuk tuks everywhere. This is gonna be an awesome place to lounge around. And I also noticed that there was a lot of places here to do laundry. We just passed by a resort that looks pretty damn expensive as well. So a little bit of, a little bit for everything can be found here. We're okay right now, thank you. Um, people are so nice though too, just like anywhere else in the Philippines. But um, yeah guys, 
just wanted to show you a little bit of the streets i'll show you guys a lot more in upcoming videos but for now it's time for us to relax let's go find some food and maybe go hit the beach of course <laughs> now later guys you were always smarter. i was the one